Shai and the uh, Educate NKY board, thank you guys for the work you have done. It's been fun to get to know you and, and your work and results here recently in particular for myself. So we move on to the next key pillar for the One NKY Alliance, that is health. So we're gonna bring up some folks to talk about the Breathe Easy initiative. You have some fact sheets in your folder and on your table there. Uh, this is the coalition that's striving for a smoke-free One NKY. Ryan Salzman here, the One NKY project director and then One NKY board members uh, and health task force that shouldn't have been so hard for me to say. What was that about reading skills, Shay? So we've got Chris Adama of City and Kate Schroeder of Interact for Health uh, up here to kick us off on the health pillar. All right, thanks so much, Evan. And I wanna take just a minute to invite all the members of the Breathe Easy Coalition. The Breathe Easy Coalition, uh, that, please come up here and join us uh, for this section. Uh, that is made up American Heart Association, American Lung Association, ACS Can, that's the Cancer Society, St. Elizabeth, Interact for Health, and many other supporters of this initiative. If you're a part of that coalition, would you come up here? I think it's real important for everybody to uh, see uh, the coalition that is doing this work. Uh, this is unfortunately you know, not a new topic. Uh, in fact, I've had lots of one-on-one -on -one conversations with many of you uh, about this work. The reality is that, that the effort towards smoke-free uh, comprehensive policies really accelerated in the early 2000s, and then again, they, they um, stalled. Uh, right at the end of the recession. Um, but nonetheless, we still know that the, uh, the work that we are doing is so important because uh, smoke-free communities, communities with smoke-free comprehensive policies are healthier communities across the board. And we know with the rise of vape, vape shops, which are uh, becoming more prevalent in a lot of your communities, I see a lot of this, mm -hmm. I just was in a community the other day, I won't say the community out loud, there were two vape shops immediately next to each other. And I can tell you right now that there are more that are coming We've been doing this important work since 2017. It began with a build grant, uh, really focused on smoking cessation. So if you remember, 2017 is when the One in KY Alliance began. So we've really been doing this from the beginning. Uh, and then that work morphed into focus on smoke-free, uh, comprehensive smoke-free policies at the city level and at the county level, uh, with three cities uh, rising to the challenge. Really want to call out Dayton, Kentucky, for being, I think, the bravest and the first in for sure. Uh, and then they were uh, followed soon by Bellevue and Highland Heights as well. Chris? Yes, thanks, Ryan. Hi, Chris Adama um, from City. Uh, City recognized uh, a long time ago the benefits of a smoke-free policy within the workplace. As an early adopter, we saw the potential impacts to our business, loss of productivity, and general impact uh, to quality of life for our employees. We transitioned to tobacco-free several years ago uh, and shared best practices uh, with the Breathe Easy Coalition very early on. Um, we transitioned not only our Florence, Kentucky campus, but actually city locations across the globe uh, to tobacco-free uh, and continue to support uh, a smoke-free northern Kentucky. Um, I just want to call out to all 250 of you in the room, uh, the call to action is to uh, take the uh, northern Kentucky 1NKY challenge. Um, there's information in your packets. Hopefully during your breakout session, you already signed the petition, submitted a letter of support. Uh, add your voice to this important issue and help us bring this region uh, to uh, smoke free. Kate? Thanks. So I'm Kate Schroeder with Interact for Health. And along with St. Elizabeth, we have been some of the funders of the Breathe Easy Coalition for the past several years. And just to underscore what we shared, so this is a really important issue for Kentucky. Most states have passed smoke free laws in them at the state level. Kentucky's one of around 12 states that have not passed this yet. It is, um, these policies work. They reduce, for regions and areas that have a smoke-free policy, it reduces high school age likelihood to smoke by 23%. It reduced likelihood of vaping by about 16%. So if we are talking about, we think about Jeremy's vision and we are here to grow and attract folks to our region, we need to have policies that are in step that support that. And also it's something that's supported. 69% of Northern Kentucky residents support this policy. And we heard what Lacey said earlier about people don't feel like their voice is heard in the policies that are being made. I'd like to lift this one up where a vast majority of folks do support this. So 
every organization, business, individual can make an impact by just expressing your opinion on this issue, which is what we're asking you to consider. So thank you. Yeah, thanks so much, Kate. And I want to invite up Dr. Michael Gieske to say a couple words. He's on the front line of this issue, and I think hearing from him is very impactful. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, this morning I was down at the state capitol testifying before the Health Services Committee with the House of Representatives and the Senate. And two and a half years ago, we passed House Bill 219. We were the first state in the nation to pass a lung cancer screening bill. We're now number two in the nation for lung cancer screening. And they were interested to hear about the progress that we've made in the state of Kentucky. And one of the messages I had was that Kentucky is being recognized on not only a regional and national level, but on an international level. Across the world, Kentucky is getting attention for the work that we've done through our state-based initiatives and efforts to reduce lung cancer, mortality and incidence, and increase lung cancer screening. One of the points that I wanted to make is that over the last 20 to 30 years, we've seen a significant decline in lung cancer incidence and mortality. It's not because of any miracles of modern medicine. It's because of policy. It's because of advocacy. It's because of the decrease in smoking rates. Reducing secondhand smoke seems like a good idea too, right? But good ideas are just that, unless they're put into action. To put good ideas into action requires leadership, and we've seen that. We've seen that, as Ryan mentioned, in Bellevue and Dayton, Highland Heights. It takes courage to stand up against political headwinds, fiscal headwinds, and to put these good ideas into actions. But once you put these good ideas into action, it influences others. And we're seeing that happening. We're going to change things in Northern Kentucky. So we want everyone here to take the one Northern Kentucky challenge go and make Northern Kentucky smoke-free. All right, thanks, Dr. Gieske. Yeah, that was perfect. <clears throat> I want to note that as 1NKY challenge opportunities go, signing the petition is one of the easiest that you can do. We have so many conversations with our city leaders. Uh, Shai was talking about myths, debunking the myths about how businesses are affected. They're not. In fact, if anything, they're benefited. Uh, at, you know, what the political backlash will be. It doesn't happen. You know, there's uh, some chatter online, but it doesn't seem to happen. But one of the most important things that we need is we need the opportunity to carry forward your names of both your businesses and you as individuals. Click through the QR code. There are already queued up, not only the QR code for the petition, but there are queued up letters for business support in your folders. If you sign them, put your business on it, and leave it with us at the end of the day, we will have the materials that we need as we continue these conversations, a lot of the substance as well. So please join me in thanking the Breathe Easy Coalition members who spend so much time and effort working on this important issue. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was homework. Remember I talked about homework? There's more coming. Uh, so uh, policy efforts related to a healthy One Northern Kentucky clearly are important and necessary. This plays into our next section, uh, which deals with infrastructure. And you might go, well, that's a whole different topic, Evan. And they are related here. So uh, you all stay where you are. I want to bring up uh, trails expert Jason Reeser from Cora, Cincinnati, off-road trails, been at this for years when we are talking about the infrastructure necessary for <laughs> our population. <laughs> Frankly, I'd expect nothing less. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. That's great. Uh, so, yeah, we've been working on a project for a long time and credit to the Cincinnati Off-Road Alliance and Jason and Brian and others that are here. Tri-State Trails is in the room as well. Uh, and as we've been developing our priorities as one in KY Alliance since our initiation, they have, to their credit, been very persistent with us. And I think with the entire Northern Kentucky community, if you were in Erlanger this morning for the exciting news and groundbreaking there, uh, lots of great stuff happening. So we are excited to announce the 1NKY Connector Trail project is fully under development right now. Uh, it will be a, tra a 31 mile trail that will be both on road and on natural surface. 
spanning seven cities in northern Kentucky uh, across and touching all three counties as well. The map that you see up there, the yellow lines denote the, uh, the build out of the 1NKY connector trail uh, with the green lines denoting uh, so much of the other amazing work that's being done both on the north side and south side of the river. And Jason, welcome welcome to the party. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, sorry I'm late. I was out for a ride. <laughs> Um, but no, it's a thrilling time to be in Northern Kentucky, and we're very eager to get started on the one NKY connector trails. Uh, with the groundwork in place and the experts who just live and breathe trails ready to go, now is the time to bring an active and healthy lifestyle to Northern Kentucky with trails. And Northern Kentucky and the one NKY region are ready to connect. connect with on-road trails, off-road, paved, and natural surface to new and exciting destinations like Eons Park and Fox Run, as well as our landmark, landmark destinations like Davu Park and the Purple People Bridge, weaving through our communities for maximum fun and impact. Additionally, our friends at Meet in KY are poised to promote our pathways for tourism and ultimately business attraction. But pathways and trails are more than talent attraction and retention. It's about building a legacy for our community that we can enjoy now and for future generations. Thanks, Jason. I'll just build that we, One NKY Health Group is very excited to be involved in this. It's clearly a project that involves uh, that's bigger than any one organization or community. It takes a lot of us working together to make this happen. And um, when we started Let Us to Cora, and they've brought in Tri-State Trails and have just been tremendous partners in this. We are just 100,000 short of the full funding needed to make this happen. So if anybody is interested who's not yet involved and would like to be, please consider this. And once it once we start construction, we're expecting a two-year uh, turnaround to get it fully finished. Yeah, lots of great energy. Every meeting conversation that we've had, you know, and it's credit to Cora and Tri-State Trails for the hard work that they have done to the cities and counties for the hard work that they have done. And this is the perfect timing uh, for a project like this to really uh, coalesce and bring everybody together. And I believe that the One in KY Alliance is the perfect organization to execute this cross-jurisdictional project that uh, that we I know that we will all benefit from. So thank you, Jason. Again, take the one NKY challenge, get out the checkbook, $100,000, that'd be perfect. Uh, but what we know is that to be a healthier community, it requires policy and infrastructure to get done what we need to get done. And I want to thank all of our partners uh, for helping to bring this to reality. That's the second crowd out pegs on there. Yeah. I was just like, you're right on handlebars. Yeah. Can, can I write a check I can't cash and say that if someone closes that funding gap before we leave today, that we'll let you ride in on a bike next year like that? I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but uh, Karen, if we close that gap today, I'll let you do that. Karen will let you do that. She's the boss. How about that? That was uh, homework again, right? So now you've had like three instances of homework. Uh, and now we're going to do some in-person in assignments uh, to channel my friends from Educate NKY. Uh, we're ending on the healthy note here. These are your feedback topics for your table discussion here in the next 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we're talking about that what, uh, Educate Northern Kentucky Strategic Plan, the Breathe Easy Coalition, Smoke Free NKY, and the One Northern Kentucky Connector Trail. I'll give you about five minutes for each of these topics. Some questions on the board there. What part of the strategic plan for Educate Northern Kentucky resonates the most with you? What do you see as the biggest challenge? And how do you engage? How do we get it done? A uh, few minutes about Breathe Northern Kentucky, Breathe NKY. How do you support the movement? Sign petitions, your business support letters. What suggestions do you have for the coalition's approach? And for that trail, what are your thoughts and suggestions for the project? And what funding advice to help us close that $100,000 gap? How about it? How about it? All right, everyone, if I can have your attention as we enter the home stretch here, and we'll continue these conversations outside because when we let you loose, there is food and some drinks outside for you. 
I always joke that that's where the real work gets done is over food and drink. So table leaders, if you can wrap up your conversations, we'll keep all of your notes at the table so that we can get it to the Alliance. Uh, but before we go, I want to give Karen the last word here. I always said in TV, I had three metrics uh, for a successful day. And that was, did we teach you something? Did we make you laugh? Did we make you cry? And if we hit all three, it was a home run. If we hit two, it was a good day. I hope no one has cried today. So I'm going to tweak it. So did, did you learn something? Did you laugh? And then did you feel like you are walking out the door with a sense of purpose and at least one thing that you can go do? If that is the case, and we've hit a home run with all three of those, raise your hand. Okay, I'll take it. That's a home run, Karen. We'll give you the last word. Thank you. Thank you, Evan. And thank you to my 1NKY board who has been so supportive as, as now we're in our seventh annual 1NKY Summit. And we hope that you feel you've heard something different today. That as Evan said, you've been updated, that you have found something of value. But it's so important that each of us find that platform that is important to us and share that with someone else in the community and ask them to share it. I'd like to also thank my team Ryan Salzman, Hillary Wolfeck, Skylar Parrish, and Maddie Cruiser, who helped put this summit together. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please join us for Social Hour. Thank you.